for Saturday afternoon next on for Deal or No Deal coming up. Then, Jamie Oliver's Full of Beans and Peas. Delicious recipes at 4.45. Later tonight at five past eight, Neela's cousin brings a touch of glamour to the ER. And this afternoon at 4.45, Jamie Oliver's having a rare old time making the most of fresh peas and beans. That's after Deal or No Deal on 4. Twenty-two identical sealed boxes, in one of which is a quarter of a million pounds. And just one question. Welcome to Deal or No. Wonderful East Wing. Hello, welcome to Deal or No Deal for the weekend. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. We've had quite a week. I said yesterday it was an extraordinary week, and it certainly was. If I was looking for, however, one word that carried through the whole week, I'd have to say it was heart. Yes, because on Monday with Matty, we had a heartbreaking game. Just one P. It was awful. Then, of course, we had the unique game in the middle of the week where one of the boxes was empty and that was a heart stopper and then with Olga we had another heartbreaker just a fiver but yesterday thank goodness for Brian his lovely wife Shirley we had the heartwarming game it really was brilliant they'd never had money in their lives nothing like the 29,000 pounds that they took home I just thought it was a wonderful game and for this weekend I want another heart warmer not stopper or breaker. Let's make it great. Here come the names. Stand by. I think when I say your name, your heart is going to beat a little bit faster. Yes, it is you. Phil. Hey! Oh, <laughs> Take the walk of well. Hello, Noah. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Just over here, just a little bit there. Come on, this is the important bit. Perch yourself on there. Welcome thank to you. your game. Thank you, Noah. Phil Bond from Bedlington, Northumberland. Yes. Retired? Yes. From what? I was working in a butcher shop selling cakes, pies and meat and sandwiches and everything else you can imagine. Selling cakes in a butcher yes, shop? Yes, cakes at one side and bread and meat at the other side. You got married to Mark. I did. Six years ago. Yes. Hello, Mark. Hello. Big Elvis fans, yes? Yes, yes. indeed. And we've got Jacqueline, your daughter-in-law. Yes. Hello, Noel. How are you? Nervous. Yes, you look a bit nervous. Calm down. There's nothing to this. You want enough money so you can go to Graceland? Yes. Also, um, I would like to make a small donation to two places. You had a Christmas show on, and there was a little girl, 10-year-old, who was a carer for mm. her mum and dad. Yep. And I would like to make a small donation to that little girl and put it in the bank for when she's 18. That is fantastic. And I would also like... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was so taken aback with that too. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd also like to make a small donation to the Northumbria Air Ambulance yeah. because they struggle for money. They don't get government funding and they've got to rely on raffles and things. So I'd like to make a donation to those as well. Mm. You're going to set me off, aren't you? All the police helicopters, there, well, we all pay for those. Yeah. But the ones that save lives That's right. depend on rattling tins. They're totally wrong. Pay. Totally wrong. <laughs> anyway. I feel better for that. Um, but anyway, you're a very generous lady. Good. 
Right, what have we got here? This is all my sisters. Crumbs. Your mum was busy. Yeah, so was my dad. <laughs> <laughs> this one was taken in 1939. <laughs> that's me. What? The bossy one, that's me. That's you? That's me. Wow. You see, laugh. it was before the war, we didn't have much to eat, did we? <laughs> 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 we're like pelicans with food in the cheeks. <laughs> yeah, you look malnourished there. <laughs> yes, very <well. laughs> Lovely. Well, are you happy to crack on with this game? Yes, I am. I need you, please, to confirm you chose box 13 at random before the game began. Yes, I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. Good luck, Phil. <laughs> Have a wonderful game. Thank you very much. Good luck, Mark. <laughs> Well, I have no plans, no strategies, no lucky numbers, nothing. I'm just, it's a game of chance, and I'm going to play the game and take the chance. Good for you. That 250,000 has got to go soon, and I think it's going to be somebody little who's going to win big. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so, fingers crossed. Shall we carry on then? It's your game, Phil. OK, then. You have Channel 4 totally right. in your own hands now. I've been wanting to be on the stage since I was a little tot. This is So I've got my dream, yeah. yes. But, but also, what I always wanted was to sit on a swing with flowers on and sing and swing, like they did in the romantic old movies. And but this is the next best thing. Well, do you know what? You've made me think. It's been a couple of Get years and we could do with a way. few flowers. Yes. And rather than that chair, wouldn't it be lovely to have a... A swing a, a, coming from the ceiling. Yeah, decorated. Covered in flowers. It's a good idea. We'll do that on Monday. OK. <laughs> Tune late, in to find yeah, out what sort of flowers we use. <laughs> right. Eunice. Ah, <sighs> Eunice! My little friend. Eunice, what do you think of the idea of decorating the studio with more flowers? Well, that'd be quite a good idea, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. It match your shirt. Uh, I've got the banker to do, deal with next for imitating my um, affliction. <laughs> oh, what, your hearing? Yes, uh, I, I didn't like the way he imitated it, so I'm going to get my revenge. Good <laughs> on you. Yes. Happy to start here? Yes, number 19, Eunice. You know, I wish you luck anyway. Thank you, Eunice. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Hundred thousand. Never mind. Yeah, I'm not surprised you want to take care of her. <laughs> <laughs> I will take care of her now. <laughs> That's sad, but crack on to the next one and Number two, Ronnie. Ah, uh, Ronnie, what about some words of wisdom? You've always got a little bit of repartee, a charming words statement, heartwarming comment, and a brilliant, sharp observation on life itself. You brighten the place up without the flowers, Mel. <laughs> I hope this is a blue for you, Phil. You're a lovely <laughs> Thank lady. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. That's the start of a blue run. 17. Dave. Billy, you're a lovely lady. Thank you, Dave. And I hope Thank it's you. a blue feeling. So do I. Same colour as your top. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh dear. Oh. 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 Don't worry, be happy. Right, deck. I'll be next. This is blue for you, Phil. Number eight. Definitely. Please make Definitely. it blue. Eric. Hello. When's Simo gonna 
get a chance with the wig. <laughs> You've been hogging that now for a week. Over the weekend we were thinking of it, uh, swapping, swapping over. Yeah. The banker thinks they look like a before and after in one of those hair restorer commercials. <laughs> Good luck, Phil. Thank you. Oh, oh no, yes. not another game like that. Oh no, oh, no big hole. <sighs> this can't go on. It's got to go right. So I think, Big Ron, I'll try you, number 11. Nope. Got to be blue. Has to be a blue. Blue for you. Oh. oh. Disaster. There is no other word. No. no other word. Very bad start. It's an appalling start. Disastrous start to take out the three yep. highest boxes in the game in the opening round. It's very rare. That's probably put you in the top five worst starts to a yep. game ever sad category, but can't stop there. Come on, Silas, I don't want to talk to him. I think he's having a celebration at your expense. Hello, banker. To know if we want to go and join a party at his place. Well, he's just confirming that is one of the worst opening rounds ever, and he's rather gloating that it's happened to you. Lovely Phil. Oh. Oh, he thinks you're elegant, serene, and deeply alluring. Do you remember all the compliments that Olga got yes. because she had a really bad Alien start as around, well? Yes. You're good at taking bad news? Yes. Okay. The money is 50 quid. Right. 50 pounds. I can't recall. Cannot recall a 50 pound opening offer. Right. Ask me the question. 50 pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you for it. Right, we've got to start again. No more reds, please. Jana, I think we'll open 22 next, please. She's got 10 blues to aim at. Yes. 10 of them. You've got to have one. I've had lots of blues recently, so I really hope this is blue for you. I have had loads. That's all right. What? All right. All right. Kay, I think, next. Number 18. Come on, Kay. You can do it, Kay. Come on. Way I, man. Way I, man. <laughs> yeah! 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 Still, huge money there. Lots. But it has to be said, the little lady is going to have to show some big courage to get it. I think you'll be back. Welcome back to Phil's game. I wanted a heartwarming game. It's a bit of heartburn at the moment, but uh, it can still be done, you know. Yes, of course. Just because we are in this extraordinary period in the history of the game, and it really is a low point. We did have a nice game yesterday, but we're low. It doesn't mean these games don't turn around. Where are you going with this box? Um, 
Um, Greg, I think I'll have number four, please. Okay, Phil. It's going to be a low blue. Here we go, Phil. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Greg. Mm, good luck. No, this isn't Acorn Antiques. <laughs> do you get that much? Because you do look a bit like Celia Emery. Actually, I've never seen the programme. Have you not? No. no. Oh, there is a similarity. Oh. £50 pounds again. But he's got £2,000 in front of it this time. £2,050. Pounds. You could still go home with more money than Brian went home with yesterday. Yes. You know, it's. You turn this game around. Come on. Of course on. I can. Thank you, Jack. That's our Jack. Yes. <laughs> That's Jack on the box. Yes, that's a, a good offer. Um, but... Ask me a question. £2,050. Deal or no deal? Good offer, but I think there's another round at least. Thank you. <laughs> no and... What's your fettle, Bash? Champion. Good. Mark's teaching him Tory. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> How's it going, Bash? It's cool, Champion. Mate. Champion, yeah. <laughs> Number six, please. Blue, please. Would be a blue. Oh, oh no. Phil, you're back to your old yes, ways yes, now. Yes, 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 yes. Well, that's one gone. There's got to be some blues out there. Um, Rachel, number ten, please. Look, hope it's blue. Thank, Thank you. you, Rachel. Oh. It's just crushing. Phil, I'm so sorry. This is this is really frightening now because if you do decide to go on after the next offer, you know, I mean, it's so. Precarious with 35,000 and only 15,000 as a backup. Yep. Where are you going? Shirley. Really hope it is blue for me. Please. Nice. I just. It's just amazing, Phil. 3,000. Just. Amazing. Be at eleven box with really just fifteen thousand or thirty-five thousand in, in play is extraordinarily unfortunate, but it's also highly unusual. You're making him very happy. That would probably be the flowers from the swing. Just listen to this. Just, just listen to it. Get down, come on. Yeah. Get another one down. Come and touch the back. <laughs> He's dancing away there. No, we don't want to join you. Thank you very much. We're... Sorry about this. It's his sense of humour. Cheesy nibbles, prawn dips, those little sausages on cocktail sticks, some pineapple chunks and little bits of cheese, and 150 quid. He's definitely having the party we are not. Yes. 
it makes incredible reading. 50 quid, 2,050 quid, 150 quid. Mm -hmm. oh, Phil, Phil, Phil. Ask me the question or? 150 quid, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Phil. <laughs> Lord on. Jack, I think we'll have number 20, please. I know why she said that, Jack. Just plod on. But, you know, the reality is this is a random game. Yes. You don't have to have relentless misfortune no. like Olga. So, come on, let's have an all-blue round. Transform yeah. the game, transform the mood. Jack, we're not plodding. We're picking blues. Good luck, Phil. Oh. Wow. Yesterday, at this point, we had the best board of all time. Phil, you have the worst board we've ever, ever had. We've now played over 700 games. Right, we've got to get some blues somewhere. There could be still 15,000 in that box. Yes! <laughs> So think positive, everybody, before you open the box and make sure it's blue, please. And the next one, I'll have Troy, number 16, please. Let's get you going with the blues, Phil. Yes, please. Best of luck. Yeah. Yeah. Have some more of them, I think. Gary, number 12, please. You've got a blue, haven't you? Definitely, definitely. Of course you have. I'm grappling, struggling to think of something positive to say, but how about this? It's terrible, it's horrific. Mm -hmm. I sense your pain in this one. Yep. But actually, you could have one of the longest runs of blues. Yes, I could that we've ever had in the history of the game. Yes, that would be well, I'm trying my best here. Yeah. Let's, let's grasp that thought. Let's grasp the thought that what you're going to come back and see is one of the biggest turnarounds because she's going to have the most amazing run of blues ever. Stick with that thought. See you. Welcome back to Phil's game. Yes, but we are going to turn it around by getting her in the Hall of Fame with the longest all blue run. We want you up there with the handful of other people who have managed to do eight in a row. You going with him, Gary? Yes. A bit simple. Blue, blue, please, Gary. Unlucky. This is somewhat consistent. This is just consistently painful now. Eight box. <laughs> Fifteen thousand pounds or nothing. That's really what it amounts to. At least Olga got up to 4,000. But... Hello. Oh, what, are you in pain? You're going, oh, he's going, oh. You've eaten too much. I thought you were dancing yourself silly. You weren't dancing and eating at the same time, were you? You 
You did more eating than dancing. What are you eating? Oh, cheesy nibbles. Well, frankly, we hope you're very ill. <laughs> you've been, oh, you're sick, man. He says it's his party, and we can all cry if we want to. He's having a wonderful time. Look at it, 250 pounds. I think you are there. I, I cannot recall a game, certainly not this year, but I can't even think of one last year where we had this situation. At eight box, £15,000 or blue money, £50, £2,050, £150, £250 as the offers. This is appalling, Phil. What do you want to do? Do you want to just decide that this is so painful you want out? No, I'm going to carry on. Well. Okay, here it comes. Phil, two hundred and fifty pounds, deal or no deal? No deal, thank, thank you. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> we have to be able to miss that. Don't tell me you've been sick on your blue suede shoes. So it is official, this is the worst run of luck that any player has ever had. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's saying a little something to hang on to. If you can have an all-blue round, he promises that your next offer will be higher than the highest offer so far. 2050, so he's going to offer you more. And knowing his warped sense of humour, your next offer is going to be £2,051. Right then, all blue round. Yes, please, all blue round. And I think it's going to be Kirsty. You've got a blue, haven't you, Kirsty? I've got a blue, yeah. Of course you have. Number 40. <coughs> Kirsty? Blue? It's blue. from Simo, 15 please. Simo, can you get us there? Uh, we've been promised the highest offer so far, if it's all blue round. Come on Phil, let's keep your party going. Five is my birthday. Okay, Mikey, please. welcome to the game. This is a really vital time because uh, we do like to play for the really big money. But in terms of your misfortune, this is a fortune. We are playing for the big money. She will get her highest offer to date as long as this is not 15,000. Good luck. Last, yes. something has it's gone something right for you. Good. Well, now he's not going to give you anything wonderful, but maybe it will be something that you regard as good enough. Hello. I think so little of you that you would now offer two thousand and fifty-one pounds. Correct. I'm wrong, so it's two thousand and fifty-one pounds and fifty p. Well, you're going to play around, aren't you? Because you're so dominant and you're being so arrogant 
You clearly are reveling in the fact that Phil is having the most awful experience here. So you're going to do something that's tinged with nastiness. Oh, how wrong was I? Two thousand and fifty pounds and a penny. I thought the penny was coming. Now what? Calm, calm down, Mark, because... Um... I see there's still 15,000 left. Aye, well, it's... Why does that make because... It's happened before. You've hit that many reds. Why have you not hit that one? <laughs> that one might be there. Because it should be in there. What do you think, Greg? Let's ask, should we ask them all? Yes, we, please. We, yes, please. Um, it's advice for you. Yes, I mean, please. Phil's not quite sure what to do. Uh, if you don't want to give advice, that's fine. But it's deal or no deal. At £2,050 and one penny, what should she do? Deal. 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 No deal. Deal. Yeah? Deal for you, Phil. No deal. 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 Deal for you, Phil. No deal. Why? Because I think she's still got a good chance of getting that 15,000. She believes that 15,000 is in a box. She'll get it. Thank you, Diddy. Jackie, Diddy. I don't want to see you go home with nothing, obviously. And 2,050 pound will make a big difference. But I think with the bad luck you've had, I think 15,000 is in that box. So you would no deal? I would actually no deal. Right. Ask me the question, Lord, please. Phil, £2,050 and one pence, deal or no deal? Deal. I think after that avalanche of bad luck, I think that is a wise move. You might still be disappointed. I'm happy. I'm happy. I, I just really do think, after just relentless misfortune, that's probably a wise decision. Yes. There could be a huge regret, of course. Where do you want to go now? I'll go with Michelle. Michelle? Best seven, please. Now, I want a red one, please. It's 15 grand in there, I know it. Jackie doesn't agree with you. She thinks it's behind me on the table. No, nope, nope. Um You do not want an all blue round now. Oh. Angela. Number it's nine, please. It's in here. Come on, Lily. Okay, she's as confident as Michelle. One and more. One more to go. And then I'll tell you the really good news. 21 Diddy, please. Yep. Five pounds, good. Pound or 500 pounds? You left the game at the highest offer. Yep. And you have beaten the banker. Aye, and, and I'm And that happy. is the combination, Phil, that gives you the perfect game. <laughs> so well done. Hello? Oh, he sounded sad now. It's how all your parties used to end up. <laughs> He'd end up eating too much and finish off crying because he'd been spanked. Good. <laughs> and it would have been £150 at this point. So, Box 13 dominated the game and brought us a very unlucky game until you turned it into the perfect result. Yep. Hats off to you. What did you bring to the table? Oh, Pound. Yes. So you'd have gone on and blown it. <laughs> Peter, the last act is with you. Will you please reveal the contents of box number one? Well done, Phil. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 500 pounds. I'm happy. Yeah. 
thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this game. And I'm happy to go with 2,000 quid. The perfect game. Thank you. How ironic the result. Enjoy the money. Wow. So we've had heartwarming, heartbreaking, heart stopping, and then we've had this massive dollop of irony. Just relentless bad luck. But she actually, at the end, has beaten the banker. And I have to say, I hope a lot of the bad memories of this week we can push away and start afresh on Monday and make someone very wealthy. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Dr Pratt is on the verge of quitting the ER. We're at County General at five past eight, and you can spend the next half an hour with Jamie at home on four. Russell Crowe is electrifying in Master and Commander, our big movie at five past nine.